Okay, this first lesson is about the idea of rights issues. So the next three exercises we are doing are about these weird little technical things that companies allow you to do to try to get more ownership in that company without buying shares from scratch. Companies obviously earn money when new customers buy their shares. But we already discussed it's easier to keep existing customers than to get completely new ones. It's also easier to convince existing customers to buy more shares if they already have shares in an existing company. One way a company can raise money or raise capital is to have something called a rights issue of shares. In a rights issue, existing shareholders get the right. So they have to actually, they just get the option to purchase additional shares in the company at a discounted price. The number of shares they can purchase is determined by a ratio in this form, the number of rights to new shares to the number of shares held currently. Getting these rights means that you can buy the shares at a lower price. Buying them means you have taken up those rights, but you don't actually have to take up those rights. So the company's just going, okay, you're an existing shareholder. You have a thousand shares in my company. I'm giving the option for every 10 shares that you've got, you can buy one cheaper share, but that's up to you. You just have the right to do that. The rights are renounceable. That means you can sell those rights to someone else. If the rights are non-renounceable, you have to take them up yourself or just leave them alone. Note that if rights are taken up, people are getting extra shares on top of the shares that they have. This means the company is dividing up into more shares than they were made up of previously. This causes the share price to drop slightly, so this should be taken into account. So you're getting the company broken up into many more shares. The share price will dilute. Now, all of that, that is a lot of fluff. And I've told you already, especially for the methods kids, that this maths is fluffy. The actual maths you do is timesing, dividing, adding and subtracting. The problem that you find going into this maths is all of this jargon. Why is the jargon important? Because you need to tell me why you're doing that maths. So, this is a very complex arrangement. There is unfortunately not a sequence of formula I can give you to deal with rights issues. The best I can give you is a completely worked example that shows you how to do this maths. So we're gonna do that maths now. Can you get this example down, please? Just group announcing a renounceable one for six rights issue. $3.85 each is the discounted price. The shares are currently trading at $4.20. Bianca has 9,000 just group shares. So I'll give you time to get this example and the questions down because there's no formula that I can do in sequence that allows you to answer this. All I can do is show you a worked example. So I'll give you some time. Can you get anything in blue? Those people that have just joined my class, anything in black is to assist me teaching you. Anything in blue is the examples that I'd like you to get down or what could go onto your cheat sheet. We're in 2024, we're a public school, I can't force you to do anything. All I can do is ask you to do it. The only power I have is your mark. Your mark is decided in week eight for your shares test. So just get that example down, we'll do this. Um This is something you can show one example of in your DI. It's not for all six companies. You would just do it for one if you felt inclined to do a rights issue. Question? Yeah, that's fine. Just don't distract the other guys. <coughs> I thought you were crawling back. It's all right. It's just one less assignment to mark, so it doesn't... But I like, you're a funny guy. Good value.
minute and a half and then I'll start doing the example for you. You can literally have this on your cheat sheet for this top this topic. Thirty seconds. <clears throat> All right, let's highlight the important information. The ratio is one for six. The cheaper prices are three dollars eighty-five. The shares are currently four dollars twenty, and Bianca has nine thousand shares currently. So, what's what's actually important for the um, calculation of this? Um, a, how many rights will Bianca be offered? Well, the ratio is one to six. What does that mean? One new share for every six current shares. Does anyone have a suggestion how I could work out how many shares she will get? Yes? 9, yeah, 9,000 divided by six because she's going to get one new one for every six. So if I go nine grand divided by six, that's 1,500. So that's how many times six goes into nine grand. How many new shares does she get for every six? One. So she's just going to get 1,500 new shares. She's going to get the right to purchase 1,500 of these new cheaper shares if she takes it up. B, how much would it cost Bianca to take up all the rights she is offered? Well, she was offered 1,500 and they're going to be $3.85 each times 3.85. That's going to cost five, seven, seven, five. Can you see why you can't be forced to take up the rights? Because it's going to cost you money. You can't go, hey, just group, you're going to pay me 5,700. You're just getting the option to if you want to. Because obviously these shares are cheap. These shares are cheaper. $3.85 is cheaper than what they're currently at, $4.20. Okay? C, this is the trickiest part of the calculation, okay? Calculate the expected price of just group shares after the rights issue. So the number of shares of this company, whatever it is, is going to increase by one for every six that it exists. So it's expanding into more shares. Because I'm dividing up my company's worth into more things, my value is going to go down slightly. How do we work that out? Well, there's six current shares are worth what? Six times by, what are the shares currently trading at? Four dollars and 20 cents. So this first line of working is to work out how much are six current shares worth? $25.20. But after the rights issue, you're getting one new share that's cheaper. One new share is one times by, what are the cheaper shares priced? Hut? Is it four dollars or something? What's the cheaper share? Three dollars eighty-five. So what's the point of doing this calculation? Well that's gonna tell me what seven shares total are worth after. That's gonna be five, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Seven shares after the rights issue are worth $29.05. If I know that seven shares are worth that, how do I work out what one share is worth after? The, yes? Divide by seven. Divide by seven. So $29.05 divided by seven. Four 
$4.15. So what is that maths showing? $4.15 diluted price. If this rights issue happens and everyone pays for their cheaper shares, the company's share price, which is currently $4.20, is actually going to go down to $4.15. Because you're diluting it. It's like when you have cordial, you've already mixed it up properly, and if you add some water to it, what's going to happen? It's not going to be as strong. It's the same thing happening to the price. D, calculate the price of a just group right if Bianca sold on the market. So let's pretend Bianca doesn't want to pay that 5775 What would it be worth for her to transfer her rights to someone else? The value of a right is equal to the diluted price. So you get this formula down, minus the discount price. The diluted price was $4.15. The cheaper price was $3.85. That's going to be 30 cents. So if Bianca was looking to, you know what, I can't afford to spend $5,775 to buy 1,500 new shares, I'll give my rights to someone else. What are those rights worth? They're worth 30 cents each. Why? Because those people are getting access to shares for $3.85. But they need to consider the, the fact that the share price is going to go down to four fifteen. So they're paying the difference between those two. And so lastly, what would um, Bianca receive if she sold all those rights? Well, how many rights did she get? 1,500 times by. What are those rights worth? 30 cents. 1,500 times by 0 0.3. 30 $450 for all her rights. So they're worth quite a little bit there. Can we get that example, please? What's up the video now?